In this video, we're taking these two stretchers and we're sticking them through the ends of the bluestone bench. And then we're gonna take those ends and we're gonna chip carve them to make them look pretty. Hey, it's Todd Wolf from Made by Wolf. And the first order of the day is to get these stretchers fitting through the mortises on the two ends of the bluestone bench. Currently, this is about five inches wide and they're gonna to need to be cut down to three and a half inches wide. It's already the correct width and we'll get it to the right size and then we'll be able to assemble the bench at that point. Now we get into one of the big advantages of the full size drawings that we did. In order to find out where everything lays out on these two stretchers, we simply need to place them on the drawing and then transfer all of the lines that we need to transfer. We're gonna be transferring the end line, which tells us where to cut these off at, and then we'll be transferring the lines which mark where the scallops will be that need to be cut out of the center here. So what I've just made here is a template that will allow me to draw the actual profile that we'll be cutting out in between the benches and then the profile at the end of the bench that will continue down into the tent. And so this can just slide on here at this point that allows me to trace. You can see there the cutouts that we'll be doing.
So I have the initial shaping done on both of these stretchers. The next thing I want to do is to insert them into the ends of the bluestone bench. But before I do that, I want to get the chip carving done on those ends. So let's get to it. So I'm here at the end of my bench and I've got the end from the bluestone bench in the vise and I've got the power chisel with a recently sharpened bit on it and we are ready to do some power carving. So let's do some chiseling and see what we can make this thing look like. Well, for better or for worse, that is one of the four sides that we have to do. And then we'll also have to do the edges and the top. But um, so far, um, pretty happy and pretty happy with the power chisel also. Right, that side too. All right, that's side number three. Carving is done on these ends for the bluestone bench. bench is uh, dry fit. 
think the chip carving came out well. I'm happy with the stretchers. I'm hoping to pick up the blue stone this upcoming week. That'll be the next big step. Once I have that, then I'll be able to drill the holes in this and uh, we'll be able to position those three pieces of blue stone. I need to color the ends to put the color that I'm going to put on the ends and put the initial finishing on the ends. And it's important for me to do that first so that when I put this stretcher through there and I glue that in, that I'll have a nice crisp line around here between the color of the ends and the uh, light color of the maple that the stretchers are made of. This is Todd Wolf of Made by Wolf, encouraging you to get out in your space and either find a project or finish a project. But get out there and make something today.